Hello and welcome. My name is Sahan Chalabi and I'm a solutions engineer for Cisco Secure Connect. In this video, we're going to be reviewing onboarding your Meraki sites in a greenfield environment. To get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going to happen pre and post migration. This video is specifically geared towards Meraki sites, which are currently operating as VPN type off. When you connect the site into Secure Connect, the site will begin to participate in the SD-WAN fabric as a spoke. Two hub connections are going to be added, which will correspond to the data center locations within the region that you've selected. And in terms of routing, a default route is going to be propagated automatically, as well as any other routes which have been learnt by Secure Connect, say from other sites. In terms of the topology, it's going to look pretty straightforward. We currently have our London location over here directly connected to the internet, but I want to introduce Secure Connect so that all of my internet bound traffic can go through the cloud security services available. So let's take a look at the configuration. I'm currently sitting on the Secure Connect overview page, but before I go to onboard my sites, I wanted to take a quick look at the branch location we're going to be onboarding and the security and SD-WAN and then site-to-site -site VPN page. We can see that the configuration is currently set to off and we'll see how this changes after we onboard this site into the cloud service. From here, I'm gonna to go to Secure Connect and then the sites page to get ready to onboard my location. I'm gonna select the option to connect Meraki networks where I'll be met with a list of all of the different Meraki networks we have in this organization. Select the branch location I wish to onboard, which is this MX that sits in London and then assign it to the Europe one region, which corresponds to the London and Frankfurt data center locations. From here, I'll select next, finish and save. And then it'll take about a minute or so for this site to be provisioned and connected to the cloud service. Perfect, so I can see that this site has now been onboarded and it's showing up as one of my sites at the very bottom here. If I wanted to get a bit more information, I can select somewhere in the white space of this site to reveal a slider window. This will give me some options to either go to the appliance status page and see how the device is operating, the site to site VPN page and affect which subnet is being advertised over the VPN tunnel. If the default route has been propagated to this device, the region it's currently selected to and how it's operating, as well as any security related events that are associated with this site. If I come back over here to my site to site VPN page and refresh, we'll take a look and see what those API calls have done. We can see it's provisioned the device to operate as a spoke in the SD-WAN fabric with connections corresponding to the data center locations within the region I selected. If you would say wanted to change traffic to go to the other data center rather than London as the primary, we can simply drag and drop to affect this and then we would save the configuration. Furthermore, if we wanted to double check and make sure that the default route has been propagated to this device, we can then go to the security and SD-WAN tab and then go to root table. Once the page loads, we may want to sort by subnet so we can see the default routes listed at the very top. And then we'll see that the active route that is currently being used has London as the next hop. Now, if I wanted to verify that traffic is actually egressing through the Secure Connect Cloud service, I'll need to know which IP address ranges traffic could NAT from. I'll open up a new tab and look for umbrella IP egress addresses. We'll see here that the public address of traffic through the Umbrella SIG service, which is also used by Secure Connect, could be anything in the 146.112.00/16 address range, 155.190.00/16 address range, and also the 151.186.00/16 address range. In addition, I will open up a new tab and go to whatismyipaddress.com. And we'll see here that my traffic is egressing from something in the 155.190 address range as we expected. That's all we have for you today. Thank you very much for joining and all the best. Take care.